this video, I'm going to be building the world's first real life ender dragon. We have a history of building the craziest Minecraft things in real life, like the world's largest Minecraft statues and a giant Minecraft village. So today we're taking Minecraft to a new level with the ender dragon. But first we need a game plan. All right, this thing has to be 40 feet long and 20 feet tall. Dude, that's longer than two school buses. That'll be the biggest thing we've ever done. Since building this will be extremely difficult, I contacted an expert Minecraft player. <laughs> What's up, Matthew B? So I need your help. I'm building a giant ender dragon and need your thoughts. A big ender dragon. Is it hot and sexy? <laughs> Yes, I think so. Matthew, I need it to breathe fire. What? Fire? The dragon's gonna be built out of wood and cardboard. It's gonna catch on fire. Can you make it happen? I can. You're the guy for me, Matt. We have to make it happen. Which means it's time to go to the store and get some materials. And we only have eight days to build this. Have you ever built a dragon before? It's gonna take a long time. This is gonna be very difficult. Excuse me, where's the paint aisle? <laughs> I'll <open it. laughs> I'm a big scary dragon. Thank wow. you. Now that we have our ender dragon materials, it's time to start building. We're gonna start by building the body out of wood. We're making the dragon so it's the exact size scale as it would be in real life compared to a human. Matt, just to let you know, I stayed up all night last night and beat the ender dragon, so I'm qualified. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Once we frame the body, it's time for the legs. They will need to be extremely strong because they're gonna have to hold the weight of the body and the wings, which is close to a thousand pounds. One leg takes about four hours to build, and after two days, the legs are ready. This giant piece of wood is just one of the parts of the leg. Each leg is made up of three giant parts, and we're hoping they're super strong. This is massive. I told you, this thing's gonna be huge. After building the body and legs, we cover the parts with cardboard for a smoother finish. This body is so heavy. So we have the body and legs completely assembled, but there's one problem. The body's extremely heavy and we gotta see if the legs can hold all of the weight. Now it's finally time to attach the giant legs to the body and hope we made them strong enough to support the dragon. Right now, the entire thing is being held up with the scaffolding and we're about to remove it. Once we remove it, all of the weight's gonna be on the legs. I hope they're strong enough. Well, you built it, right? So it should be. They will be there. This is scary. Oh! screwed in this. Me? <laughs> Dude, who's big man? What? After our failed attempt, we added more structure on the inside to make it much stronger. All right, so we just fixed it, added a bunch more screws. Now let's see if it holds. We good? Well, it holds now, but I still don't know how it's going to breathe fire. Tommy and it wants us to make the ender dragon breathe fire, which is extremely difficult. Good luck and don't let me down. All right, let's try this out. Yeah, that is definitely gonna catch the dragon on fire, bro. It's made out of wood. To help us with this, I brought my genius friend Skylar, who once helped me put a Mr. Beast burger into space. So I made this homemade flamethrower out of this fire extinguisher. Cause you know, fire extinguisher, fire. Yeah. This is the pressurized canister. The fuel's already inside there. It might blow up, so be careful, guys. What? <laughs> Did it work? Nothing uh, is going right. I'll get it working. Well, our genius engineer was making a safe flamethrower that won't burn down the dragon. We're gonna start disassembling the dragon so we can start painting it. For this project, we're gonna need a lot of paint. And we special ordered some that's supposed to be non-flammable so the flamethrower doesn't catch our ender dragon on fire. Right now, I'm painting the eyes of the ender dragon. This looks so insane. Look at the mouth. Dude, that looks really good. Why are you figure painting again? Dude, it adds character. I really Every like single it. project. Here, I am not touching that. Get that away from me. After hours of painting, the Ender Dragon is looking amazing. This thing looks so sick. I can't wait to see the entire thing put together. Now it's time to go load it up. Some of the smaller parts are completely made out of cardboard, so we have to be very careful when moving them. <laughs> Ender Dragon is all loaded up. Now it's time to build it. While we were driving to set up the dragon, Skylar gave me some horrible news. You know, there's still a good chance that my flamethrower doesn't work. What do you mean? We're literally getting ready to set this up. We have to do this today. We haven't tested it yet. All right, let's start taking everything out and hope this works. I'm not sure, it's supposed to be kind of windy today. Last time we were here, we built a Minecraft village and it blew over from the wind, so hopefully we can get the Ender Dragon to work today. Speaking of working, how would you like to win $1,000 without having to work at all? If you subscribe right now, you could win $1,000 just like this. I have a question, are you subscribed to my channel? Yeah. So since you're subscribed, you just won $1,000. Oh my God, I don't even know what to say. So subscribe now and win $1,000 and join the Beam Team. While our friend was celebrating $1,000, we started assembling our giant Ender Dragon. Dude, I've never seen the Ender Dragon before. Let's suck at Minecraft. How, dude? It's literally so easy. I just realized I've never actually beaten Minecraft either. Yo, how? How are we letting them help us with the Ender Dragon? That's what I'm saying. They are not qualified at all. Go home. Since none of our friends have seen an Ender Dragon, it's time for us to change that and build this in real life. Oh, they're so heavy. The body parts are extremely heavy, so we need everyone's help. Yeah! He's a big okay. help. Look at Ripped already. The bottom. We gotta be careful. This can't break. The body's in place. Now we just have to do the legs, wings, neck. Neck, head. We basically done nothing. All we do is put the body in place. <laughs> and something's already ripped, so it's not looking good. Oh, another piece ripped right there. That was me. I watched you do it. 
Okay. I'm glad we got Cordova screwing this time. Me too. That's supposed to be a poke at me. It was not me the first time. We're using these giant pipes as the dragon skeleton. It's gonna hold everything together. This is how we will attach both wings, the tail, and the head. This is like one of those little like tin can phones. Hi, Hayden. I can't reach you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you still heard me though. I love Ender Dragons. Yeah. Time to install the scales of the tail. Once we start attaching the details, this is really starting to come together. All right, we're gonna take the scaffolding out. Last time we did this, it fell and broke. Because of Hayden. Please work, please work, please work. Is it good? It's good. I don't know why we let Hayden stand under it after it broke the first time. <laughs> so we can Maybe hold it, it up. <laughs> now we are installing the massive wings. Good news is they're already flying, so they work. This thing might fly away. That's the point, it's a dragon. Oh, uh, don't, don't pull too hard. It smells like it's staring. Only one problem. The wings aren't fitting. We have to take this pipe out because we put the wings on wrong. The wings are super fragile, so reinstalling them, we have to be very careful that they don't break. After 20 minutes of careful adjustments to the wings. All right, I fixed the wings, we're good. So we have everything built on the dragon except for the head, but before we install this, we have to lift it up so it's posing like it's getting ready to attack someone. How are we going to lift it up? We got all this right here. Now it's time to lift the massive dragon into the air. Most likely gonna break, man. No, 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 stay away from that because it's about to bust here. Because this one already ripped. After 30 minutes of struggling, we finally got it standing. Uh, this is so heavy. This puts on, all right, you're good. I still think that it could buckle if we're not putting pressure on its butt. Just no, we're good. The tail's touching. That's made out of cardboard. We were already worried that it would fall over and to make things worse, the wind is really starting to pick up. Is it safe to do fire stuff in this type of wind? No. While we waited for the wind to go down, Skylar was preparing his homemade flamethrower. It could all blow up. And I'm kind of scared with all this wind. Nobody pull this. So that is fully prepped to shoot fire. Yeah. After installing the flamethrower into the dragon's head, we still have no idea how to do the fire. I think if it goes here, it'll burn the cardboard because we have holes down low. Now it's finally time to install the head. If we touch this lever, the fire will go off. So be very careful. Putting on the head without having the fire go off is very hard. And to make things even worse, we forgot our drones so we're filming with this as our drone. Don't drop it on the dragon. Oh! We were able to successfully get the head on. Now it's time to complete Tommy and its challenge. Matthew, I need it to breathe fire. Now that we have the dragon all put together, it's time for it to breathe fire, but there's one massive problem. It's super windy. This entire field could catch on fire. To make this as safe as possible, I rented a giant water truck. Matthew, nothing's coming out. <laughs> It came out. <laughs> All right, we have to wet down this entire field. We took every safety precaution possible. Every person has a fire extinguisher. We wet it down the field. We have more water. We're ready to go. And I'm soaked, so I won't catch on fire. Okay, I'm gonna go light the wick now so we can get this going. Uh, I hope this works. Unfortunately, because of the weather, it's not working. It's so windy, it just keeps putting out the flame. Our homemade flamethrower isn't working, so we have one last option. If it doesn't work, the fire won't start and we'll let Tommy in it down. This has to work. So we just got back to the field and luckily our dragon's still standing, but today it's even windier and the wings are about to blow off. Oh, look at the gap. Oh! <laughs> we have to add more screws. The crazy winds made the legs fall off, but luckily I caught the dragon. I got it, I got it. I'm holding the whole thing. Run, get out of there, dude. That thing's gonna fall. You can't fix it anymore. I won't let it fall. Let's set it down slowly. So the entire ender dragon would have fallen and broke, but we caught it and saved it. Unfortunately, it looks like this, but we're still gonna shoot the flame. All right, here we go! He's on fire! He's on fire! He's on fire! <laughs> <laughs> we were able to successfully build the world's first real life ender dragon and made Tommy in it proud. That is real fire. That is fire. Seriously, that is a lot more than I was expecting you to do. Dude, that was so gnarly. We did it! We just found a real life ender dragon. That's it for this video. New videos every Tuesday. I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you watch this video right here. Bye!